changing tack. Um, are we employing new tactics to try and deal with this pandemic? What's the strategy for the second wave and going forward? We have, we do have a, a, a strategy, and and let's not also also not forget. We have also picked quite a bit of information and we have learned a bit mm -hmm. about how to, how to deal with the disease. We have also, over the last couple of months, built sufficient capacity to deal with the current state of affairs as, uh, as, uh, as it is at the moment. The important thing, and this is something to remember, is that the most important thing in dealing with an infectious disease is to ensure that your healthcare facilities are not overrun that you can still be able to uh, put people in, hospital, in hospitals, you can still be able to uh, treat those who get sick. That's the critical bit. So whatever strategy you adopt, you adopt a strategy that watches on those figures, that watches on what is your bed capacity? What, how are we dealing with the sick? How can you contain the situation so that you do not increase numbers to the extent that they can overwhelm your, they can overwhelm your healthcare system. So the first thing to do is to deal obviously with the ones who are sick. You make sure that uh, those ones are taken care of, they are hospitalized, they are on ventilators. We have, do we have enough ventilators? Do we have enough oxygen in hospitals? That's to deal with the people who are sick. So that's the first priority. The second priority is once you, have, once you know that somebody has a virus, you quickly need to isolate them. And the strategy we have taken on this one, Akisa, is that originally we were taking everybody to an isolation facility. Mm -hmm. The new strategy now is that uh, as long as individuals are asymptomatic, in other words, they are not exhibiting any illnesses, outright, outright uh, illnesses such as uh, severe coughs, uh, like, you know, breathing difficulties and so on, we have realized that it is possible for these people to quarantine themselves, isolate themselves in their homes wherever possible. The operative being, or the, the operative term they are being wherever possible. Mm -hmm. We can isolate those who cannot be able to do it, but largely people are getting better and faster when they are at home. The danger, of course, of uh, self-isolation and self-quarantine is that it requires serious discipline because if you are staying with a family at home, then you must, you must discipline yourself so much so, right. and the family must also ensure that you are disciplined so that you don't spread it to them. You speak of um, a strategy that involves, um, uh, you know, really ensuring that...